Hey guys, Halloween C. Today, I'm going to be doing the unboxing and setup of the Spirit Halloween new for 2024 Shirley Stab animatronic. Now, this is a prop that we saw in that teaser we got like a few weeks ago. Maybe like, wait, was like two weeks ago now? Um, this is a prop that we saw in that teaser. And um, everybody was kind of confused to what it was because we had no... We didn't know the name of it or anything like that. We just saw like a glimpse of it and it looked really cool. And uh, it came out and it turns out it was really cool. So I really enjoy this prop. Um, it, I think it's a great prop. I love the, um, the 50s aesthetic of it. So let's just get into unboxing it. Okay, so we got the top of the box right here. I'm gonna be cutting it open. This is a unique prop too. We've never seen a like a prop from like a. We've never seen a prop that I don't think at least we've ever seen a prop that's supposed to be from. That's like the design of it is supposed to be from a specific year. So yeah, it's really cool. So I'm opening it. Open it up. Come on. Let's open the top of the box up. Ooh, okay. I see some parts. Also, her box is really big. Um. I understand why, because there's a lot of plastic molded pieces, but it is a really big box. So, so we can start off just by taking out. Never mind, I guess we can't start off by taking it out. I guess, oh, it's a slide out box. So I gotta slide it out. Um, let me just show you guys. That's what it looks like when you first open it. But I gotta slide it out because things are like zip tied in there. Alright, so I just laid it down and uh, took off a few twist ties. So, first thing I see right here is the head, which with like the neck and stuff, stuff and it looks absolutely awesome. I'm gonna take it out, I'll just go ahead and take that out first. Um, just cause, whoa my god, this thing looks so awesome. It's got some shoulder form on it, but look at this thing. Look at that face and look at that head. Look how awesome that looks. Hopefully you guys can see it on the camera. Yeah, you guys can. Look at how awesome that face and that head looks. Um, it's really gory. It looks like she kind of carved a jack-o'-lantern into her face. Um, and this is like the rest of her, you know, her neck and her instructions. I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I don't know. There's something in there. I'm not gonna fly away. So next... Oh, hold on. Here, I'll take this out. This is a hip loop. These things are really long, but this is a hip loop, I guess. I've been finding for like right after I did the last unboxings, I was finding plastic everywhere in my, in my backyard. I don't want to get plastic for around again. So, let me say this. So, here's the, here's the dress, um, which is it's just a regular dress, but it does have her hands on it. This is just a regular hand with a black glove on it. Um, and then this is the hand with the knife. Um, which this is awesome, as you can see, hand with a knife, it's really cool. Okay, so this is her control box, right there. Here are all of her light poles, um, and here is the base, which is a standard normal base. So, it's time to get into setting this thing up. Alright guys, so, here we have her fully set up, she looks awesome. One thing did happen though, um, they ended up giving me a wrong pole. Instead of getting two A two A poles, I mean instead of getting two A poles and two C poles, I got um three C poles and two A poles and they didn't match up together. They didn't they didn't go in together, so luckily I had gorilla tape on me. Um and I just put a ton of tape on the leg and it's uh it, it worked fine. But um besides that, she looks really awesome. As you can see, you can see the knife there. She looks really awesome, uh, really detailed. 
she's taller than I expected. I, I was expecting her to be a little shorter, but she's taller than I expected. So, let's do a demo. Hello. Alright guys, so she is such an awesome prop. I love the music that plays um, in her background. I absolutely lo I love that music. Um, great 50s music to have in her background. Cause she's kind of like, she kind of looks like a waiter. Um, and she definitely looks like she's from the 50s. Just by based on looking at her appearance overall. So, uh, yeah. So overall, this is a great prop. And this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Don't smash. No, Hulk. Real men don't smash little girls.